Oh, welcome to our STEM lab. Uh, this video is just quickly going to demonstrate what we've been uh, doing in um, semester one, 2018, and our 3D printer CNC laser build program. So this is the workshop. We'll go out to where uh, what we started with, and that is a bunch of components. So we can see we've got um, our control systems that we're implementing and everything is the this fantastic smoothie board. Um, made by MakerBase, but um, the smoothie board is the control system for CNC's and 3D printers, uh, lasers, so we've got some spares um, in there, and then some uh, LCD screens, touch screens, some sensors, uh, these are LCD screens we use on the other ones, um, a whole bunch of stepper motors, they go inside the CNC machines and the um, 3D printers obviously, they make the movement. And we've got things like um, hot ends, so that is where the plastic is um, uh, melted and some, you know, little heating bullets and all that sort of stuff. Various bits and pieces, power supplies, all that sort of thing. So we start with all of those types of components and I'll show you what we... So we'll go at the back to what we haven't quite finished yet and then we'll go to the things that we have finished. So this is uh, about a four or five year old laser CNC machine. The laser still works in it, but the control system is totally stuffed. So last year we actually bought another control system from the manufacturer, but then that didn't work either. So <laughs> what we're doing is we're going to put a smoothie CNC control system in this laser machine and we are just about up to that now so we've got to pull all the wiring out and figure everything out because there's no instruction manual and get all that sort of done uh, but that's what we will be doing very shortly uh, what else have we done oh these are all our robots that the students have been rebuilding and repairing and they're going to be um, uh, used in all sorts of classes there, so that's our robot rebuild project. Uh, we haven't finished these yet. Um, these are some really old CNC machines, and we impact CNC machines, and we will put the. If we will have to get some more because we, you know, a couple more, uh, we will be rebuilding those um, later this year. So the students in Year Ten have been rebuilding these kits. Um, that were bought in 2017 but never finished, um, never put together and never got going and they just had really awful cheap um, Arduino control board in them as well so we're using the one control system which is this is the same smoothie board that you saw um, before so we install this power supply, we put some extra stepper on it there so we've got two, this is the LCD that you saw in the cupboard out the back so it looks a bit um, rough and ready because it's a sort of an eBay kit this is an old um, up 3D printer that's about oh, five years old now, completely broken. Costs about $2,000 to buy a new one, so we're just putting the smoothie board in it and the LCD and reusing most of the components. That we have to modify a few here and there. So the year 10s are doing that. It looks like it's junk, but it's actually pretty much finished. And this is another one of those kits. This one is finished. Um, it's exactly the same Tevo kit from before and at the back you can see that it's got the same smoothie board system in it, power supply um, and all that sort of stuff. Oh, that's another one of those old um, impact CNC's. Now, um, oh that's one someone gave me, um, we're going to fix that later, it's just a MakerBot, but that's not going at the moment. And these are the three that I've made myself, and so we've got three here, one, two, three, and these ones are my design and I've been making these um, at home over the weekends and they are really tough and really robust and they have the touch screens um, here at the front and really big um, heavy duty metal um, heat beds on them and all really heavy duty um, everything and smoothie boards inside and how are they made? Well this is one of the frames um, it's actually not the 3D printer frame, it's another laser that we're making and but you can see it's made out of this aluminium framing T-slot um, stuff and we mill all the sides and then we make the frame itself and this is what we make the frame out of so it's this 
sort of aluminium profile stuff that we cut up and then we sort of bolt it all together and it makes a really, really solid but light frame. So these um, three have just been commissioned. Um, uh, one's been here for quite a while now, but these other two have only just arrived because they take oh, a good three days each full time to make. So they're all going through their test prints. So these two, the red stuff, don't worry, there's just a little bit of adhesive. That's going fine. And then this one got its first print job today, some, some of the Year 7's work. And then what's this one over here? This is another broken laser um, that uh, I installed a uh, smoothie system on it. And in there you'll see that's the same smoothie board. Its control system and its laser was completely broken. Um, so I put a smoothie board in it, um, that's the smoothie LCD, and then I put a laser diode instead of the CO2 laser in there, and it works great. So you can see that's one of the engravings there, uh, test engraving that we did. So that's working all sort of great, and so that's basically um, pretty much two laser CNC machines we've made. Um, I've made, well sorry, yeah, I've made that laser, laser CNC, I'm also doing the big laser CNC machine conversion out the back. Uh, I made these three um, 3D printers here and then the students have, um, these are the student printers um, over here and then the students will also retrofit, uh, put a control system on these old impact um, CNC machines and the one last project I haven't mentioned is which is going to be really cool this is a big vinyl cutter that I've donated I don't use it um, anymore it's a really big massive um, commercial vinyl cutter it's not a laminator it looks like a laminator but it's actually a vinyl cutter and you can cut vinyl stickers and you know like things to stick on t-shirts and vinyl signs and that sort of thing um, but it runs Chinese software which is unusable but the machine itself is quite good quality so what we're going to do is put a smoothie control system in this as well because um, you can and um, so that's going to be really really good so that's another project for um, the STEM lab so that will mean that we'll have that vinyl cutter and we'll have at least two laser CNC's and we'll have at least say six 3D printers and at least three um, um, impact CNC machines and they'll all run off the smoothie system um, which means that they can be networked and um, they can be the same software that we can make our files in CAD or 3D modelling or what have you and then to control the machines it's all the same smoothie software which is going to make life much easier uh, for the students and this is a slightly unrelated project but uh, same sort of, um, it's used as steppers, but this is a, a filament winder. So we're also in the process with the Year 12s of prototyping a filament maker. So this is part of a big filament maker project. And so that, um, and a filament maker where we're looking at recycling this filament that we buy at the moment. And this goes into, you can see it here, it goes into the 3D printer. You see, it goes into the 3D printer, and that's so we're um, that's another project that's on the go is making a machine that crushes like plastic bottles and pallets and things like that and makes this um, 3D filament for us. But that's um, quite a big project and requires quite a lot of work, but that's on the go at the moment. So, thanks for watching, and um, hope. Um, that you get an appreciation of what we've been able to do here ourselves um, with um, making our own advanced manufacturing equipment on a shoestring budget. Thanks for watching.